Good morning. I'm with you a little bit early this morning. Uh, we've got quite a bit to do. Mary's got to go to Little Rock with Lynn, and, and I've got to get some things done at the church. And we're all taken out just a little bit early, and I wouldn't get to the church in time to, to do my devotion. So uh, uh, we'll do it right now, so you can pick it up as you come along. Uh, in Luke, the 10th chapter, 23 through 25, uh, 4, it says this, Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see, and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear, and have not heard it. I remember when I got my first pair of glasses. It was when I was a little over 20. Uh, well, actually, yeah, about 19, just before I got married. I was working in an optical shop, and uh, I was having trouble seeing some things, and they told me, go down to the doctor there. We got a doctor that uh, works on our, our eyes. He said, go down and get a test and come back. Sure enough, I needed glasses. I wondered why it was in high school that I needed to, uh, I had trouble seeing the blackboard and all the uh, things that were up there. I'd have to get up real close and sit in the front row so I could see. Turned out I needed glasses. And what's interesting is that as you go along, your eyes change, especially if you're type 2 diabetic like I am, I have to be very careful about my blood sugar. When my blood sugar is running a little high, things are a little furry, fuzzy. And uh, I have to make sure that uh, my blood sugar is at the right level. So I keep a constant watch on it that way, but it does kind of give me a signaling when my blood sugar is getting a little high. And uh, our eyes are just precious to us. All of us that have eyes need to know that uh, it's a whole lot better than not having them. Also, our ears. Notice that it said that uh, what they heard was special as well. I'm glad that I've got good hearing. Uh, sometimes my wife doesn't want me to have as good a hearing because I can overhear conversations uh, quite a ways away. But uh, those are important faculties that we have in our body. And Jesus was telling his disciples, he said, listen, you are seeing things that kings and prophets wish they could see. You're hearing things that kings and prophets wish they could hear. The words of Christ are so precious and so powerful that we need to understand that when we read the Bible, we're hearing things that others are not hearing and don't want to hear or don't accept what they hear. As Christians, we, are thank we need to be thankful for the word every day. And we also need to be thankful for the insight through the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives that let us see and that we are not blinded to what's going on around us. God loved us. He came through his son, Jesus Christ, and died upon the cross for us. Once we receive Jesus, we are given that ability to see and to hear and to understand the words of God that change our lives. It's going to be kind of a nasty day out there. Be careful as you go along. Watch, be careful as you drive. We're praying for those that are in the hospital right now. Some of our folks are having surgery right now. We just got you in prayer. We want you to know that. Carla, we got you in prayer in case you're listening. And uh, Ron Foster, we got you in prayer. We just ask Lord that the, that the Lord watch care over you. And Jim Stevens, we're praying for your upcoming surgery. Lots of things happening. God's blessing. Come and see us up at the church at Crow Mountain Baptist Church on 1138 Crow Mountain Road. God bless you. Have a great day.